Riding your bike is a great way to get around BU campus and the city. But before you take your first ride down Com Ave, it's a good idea to get to know the different types of bike lanes around campus. My name's Bill, I'm a video producer for BU Today, and I'm going to give you some tips on how to use these lanes. So this is your classic, traditional bike lane. You'll find these all over the city. Looking at the ground here, you can see the little biker image in an arrow telling you which way you're supposed to be riding. In most cases, you should just be riding in the direction of road traffic. Sometimes they're painted a nice new green, sometimes they're a little faded, and sometimes there's no paint at all. But our little painted biker friend here lets you know that you are definitely in a bike lane. These lanes are great because you normally don't have to share the lane with cars and trucks. You kind of have the whole lane to yourself. But, as you can see, it isn't exactly a perfect system. When you see a parked car or truck in your path, you're going to want to pass them safely. The best way to do that is to look over your shoulder, make sure there aren't any cars in your way, and take the full lane. After you pass, you can return to your unobstructed bike lane. Sometimes trucks will park so that you can still make it through the bike lane. I'd just recommend going really slow through situations like this. And in cases like this, where the red car on the right there is pulling out, that space between the car and the truck is a little too tight, so I think I would just pass on the left and not risk riding through that really tight space there. Because oftentimes you can't really trust people to look for bikers when they're opening their doors. One of the most important things you should know about bike lanes is that they oftentimes have their own traffic light. When you're riding up to an intersection, make sure you pay attention to the bicycle-specific traffic light. Just because cars have a green light going straight doesn't mean that you do too. For example, I'm stopping here at a bicycle red light, and the cars in the turning lane to my left, they have a green light to turn, so they can turn safely through my lane and I don't have to worry about getting hit. Right here, the classic bike lane transitions into what's called a separated bike lane. You'll find these all along certain stretches of Com Ave, but mostly in West Campus. These lanes are completely separated from motor vehicle traffic. This one, for instance, is up on the sidewalk level, but they'll also do things like use a concrete curb to separate you and road traffic. These lanes are awesome because you don't have to worry as much about cars or trucks parking in your lane, but you still need to be careful because they come with their own set of dangers. One of the biggest dangers is that pedestrians tend to walk into these lanes without looking to see if anyone's coming, so be mindful of that when you're riding. Slow down when you see a crosswalk because it's highly likely that people will walk right through your lane. And don't ride the wrong way in the lane like this person. When coming up to intersections, you should be hyper aware of cars turning through your lane. Your 20 pound bicycle is no match for a two ton car, so take it slow and be cautious. Cars turning through your lane is gonna be a problem in all the lanes that I talk about in this video. So when you're riding, make sure you're paying attention to what's going on around you, not just right in front of you. One last thing about separated lanes. What if you want to take a left? How am I supposed to get over there? Well, look for these turn boxes. Just ride through the intersection, stop in the box, and turn your bike in the new direction that you want to ride. Wait for the light and ride on. So now I'm going to ride on a Bay State, and you can see that there isn't a traditional bike lane to my right. See the painted biker image in the middle of the street there? In this case, you're allowed to use the whole lane as your bike lane you'll want to ride in the direction of vehicle traffic. You'll also notice that this is a one-way street, but there's a yellow line to my left. This small lane over here is actually a bike lane. It's called a contraflow bike lane. This lane is meant for bicycle traffic, but it goes against the normal motor vehicle traffic of Bay State Road. So when you see a setup like this, just make sure you're traveling in the right direction. So the last lane I'm going to show you is a bus and bike only lane. You can find these on Brighton Avenue once you pass Packard's Corner. These lanes are meant for only buses and bicycles to use, but as I've mentioned before, that isn't always the case. Watch out for turning vehicles and cars parked in the lane, just like you would in the other lanes I've talked about. But otherwise, consider the whole lane meant for just you. And so that's your primer on bike lanes around BU campus. By no means is this an exhaustive list of everything you should do to ride your bike safely, but I hope it encourages you to get out there and explore the city. Take your time. Be considerate of others, pay attention to what's going on around you, and most of all, have fun.